A spirometry result compares the volume with time, so a spirometry measures the volume of air inspired or expired as a function of time. During the inspiration, when the air goes inside, the volume increases and the pressure goes down to minus 6, making a U-shaped or covet-shaped concavity or half circle. The flow volume curve plots expiratory flow rate against volume. When inspiration and expiration are most rapid in the inspirometry testing, inspiratory flow is most rapid at the midpoint of the inspiration. That is why it makes a U-shape in the loop. During the expiratory phase, the high peak flow rate occurs at the start of expiration and then flow rate falls progressively. What do a spirometer measures? It measures force vital capacity and forced expiratory volume in one second. And what's force vital capacity or FVC? It is the total amount of air expelled after a maximal inspiration and normally it's about 4.8 liters. And what is FEV1? It is the amount of air that is expired in the first second after the maximal inspiration. What's the normal volume of FVC and FEV1? FEV1 is 4 liters and FVC is 5 liters and the ratio of the two FEV1 divided by FVC times 100 is 80 percent. So the normal values is 80 percent but it may range from 80 to 120 percent. So here it is the normal value of FEV1 and FVC ratio. The FEV1 in one second is every square is one second. So FEV1 in one second is 4 liters and the total amount of force vital capacity total amount of air expired is 5 liters so 4 upon 5 into 100 is 80 percent what a spirometer does not measure a spirometer does not measure residual volume functional residual capacity and total lung capacity why because air present in the lung does not come out during the spirometric procedure they can be measured by helium equilibrium test and by plethysmography functional residual capacity frc is the air in the lung at the end of normal expiration. TLC, total lung capacity, is the volume of air in a fully expanded lung and it measures about 6 liters. And residual volume is the amount of air in the lungs after maximal expiration and it measures about 1.2 liters. The shape of the loop varies in obstructive and the restrictive disorders. Why? Due to differences in changes in the FVC and FEV1. That makes it possible to differentiate between the two types. Restrictive disorder may be caused by parenchymal lung diseases and by extra parenchymal lung disease. The parenchymal lung diseases include interstitial lung diseases. In them, the RV is reduced but FEF is preserved. The extra parenchymal diseases may be due to muscle, bone, joint, neuromuscular and pleural diseases and morbid obesity. What's the hallmark of restrictive diseases? The hallmark is decreased lung volume, mainly TLC and FVC. All the lung volumes are reduced in restrictive disorders, but TLC and force vital capacity are the main lung volume which are reduced. And what's TLC? TLC is the volume of air in the lungs at maximal inspiration and it includes inspiratory diesel volume, tidal volume, expiratory diesel volume and residual volume. TLC is decreased. Why? It's decreased due to inspiratory muscle weakness, a stiff chest wall or a space occupying lesions. What's the percentage of TLC in mild, moderate and severe restrictive diseases? In mild restriction, TLC is 70 to 79 percent. In moderate restriction, TLC is 60 to 69 percent. In moderately severe restriction, TLC is 50 to 59 percent. And in severe restrictive disease, it's less than 50 percent. Now, FEV1 to FVC ratio in restrictive disorders. 
in restrictive disorder there is decreased FEV1 but FVC may be normal or decreased less than 80 percent but the FEV1 to FVC ratio may be normal increased or decreased more than 80 percent. So in restrictive diseases FEV1 is normal or decreased FVC is reduced so the ratio FEV1 to FVC may be normal or increased but the patient have low lung volume this is the restrictive disorder FEV1 is 3 liters and the FVC is 3.5 liters so FEV1 to FVC ratio 3 upon 3.5 it's more than 85 percent increased but the lung volumes TLC, RV, FRC are reduced and force vital capacity is reduced more than the other that is why the FEV1 to FVC ratio may be more than normal. What will be the features in a mixed obstructive and restrictive disorder? In a mixed disorder, all the volumes are decreased. See here, everything is decreased. Whereas in obstructive disorders, the ratio FEV1 to FVC is reduced and FEV1 is reduced. Whereas TLC is normal to increased and FVC is normal to decreased. So the main feature is that FEV1 to FVC ratio is decreased with an increase in TLC in the obstructive disorder whereas in restrictive disorders FEV1 to FVC ratio may be normal to increased FEV1 is normal to decreased but FVC is markedly decreased so in obstructive disorder FEV1 FVC ratio decrease in restrictive disorders it is increased whereas TLC increased in the obstructive disorder but is decreased in both mixed and restrictive disorders. In mixed disorders all volumes are decreased. In obstructive disorder FEF 25 to 75 percent is decreased whereas in restrictive disorder FEF 25 to 75 percent may be normal to decrease. In obstructive disorders peak expiratory flow rate is decreased but in restrictive disorder it may be normal to increase.